In this video, we'll actually apply some trigonometry to solve a problem involving bearings. So we have two cities with a given distance and a bearing. And the first thing to do is, as always, to draw a picture. Now, where do we begin when trying to draw all this information? I think it's most important to first see where our bearing is being measured from. So here it says from x, and so that means we begin by drawing in a point for x, say here. And because we're measuring a bearing from x, as we said last time, it's by assumption a true bearing. That means we're intending to spin clockwise from north. And so that means that from this point x, we'd better chuck a north out there for reference. Now you notice I extend it south as well, this tends to bring out some useful triangles or angle patterns as you'll soon see. But this is quite possibly the most important point we'll make. Whenever we want to measure a true bearing from a point, we have to start by chucking out a north from that point. Then we can think about spinning clockwise. So the bearing is 250 degrees meaning from that north, we want to spin 250 degrees. Now it's helpful to keep in mind that right angles are 90, so directly south would be 180, and directly west would be 270, and so we're somewhere in between, like so. So we know that our city Y is in this direction, at a distance of 20 kilometers, so there's our Y. Now we're asked in part A to find how far west this city is from X, meaning on our sort of map diagram, how far to the left, so this distance here. And you notice that if we drew our diagram correctly, and you notice now the benefit of extending our north line down to the south as well, a right angle triangle sort of just appears a lot of the time. So what we need to do now is bring as much of the given information as we can inside the right angle triangle. Now we're trying to find the x, and we've been given the 20 already, which is really nice. And so all we're missing is an angle inside the triangle. Now note the 250 spins all the way clockwise from north. But just the straight angle going from north down to south is of course 180. And so that means the bit left over, the angle inside the right angle triangle we've built, must be 250 minus 180, which is 70 degrees. So now we've got an angle inside our right angle triangle, we can bring out our trig tools. 20 is our hypotenuse, and x is opposite the 70 degrees, so we'll use a sign. It eats the 70 degree angle, and gives us opposite over hypotenuse, so x over 20. So here we multiply both sides by 20 to get rid of the over 20 on the right, meaning x is just 20 times sine 70, which turns out to be about 18.79 kilometers. And so that's part A. That's how far west y is from x. So just how far to the left on this drawing. Now part B is asking for the bearing of x from y. So again, if we're measuring a bearing from y, we'd better chuck a north out from y. So there it is. Now, what does it mean to find the bearing of x from y? It means now that we've drawn in a north from y, we want to know how far to spin this north so that we're now pointing towards x, so that angle we've created there. Now notice those pink north-south lines we've drawn there are of course parallel they're drawn to point the same way. So we can again use some of our angle relationships on parallel lines to help us navigate these pictures. And the one I reckon is super easy to spot a lot of the time is the zigzag shape here. Meaning the bearing we're looking for is exactly that 70 degree angle we used just before. So the bearing of X from Y is 70 degrees. So again, the most important part with solving these problems is setting up a good picture. And that always starts with chucking a north out from wherever you're measuring a true bearing from, because then you can see what it means to spin clockwise from north. And once you've got those angles and sides all set up, it's right back to the sorts of triangle problems that we're hopefully super familiar with by this point. So that's all for this one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.